Welcome to Sip and Tea with V. It's your girl V Brown, and tonight we are gonna sip some tea. Are y'all ready to get into it? All right, let's go. Let me just pull these chicks up. <sighs> let's see. All right, so tonight we're doing Real Housewives of Potomac, season one, episode one. Mind your manners, okay? Let me just tell y'all, just taking a look and observation of the overall trailer and what I've seen so far, I'm just going to speculate that <laughs> these women seem very uppity. They seem like want to be somebody, um, but I'm going to keep watching before I completely pass judgment or um, have a full observation of who these ladies are. We start off by getting a shot of all the women in different scenes. And then we meet Giselle. Um, <laughs> I like the element that they showed her in for her first scene. Um, she's in the kitchen with her daughters baking. They seem to have a great bond. She was once married to a widely known pastor who was a cheater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater was her exact words. He liked to hide his salami meats everywhere okay and when she said that I was like oh let me just sip my tea mm. not hiding the salami meat girl and let me just tell y'all what I'm sipping on tonight um I've already done this on Real Housewives of Atlanta so if y'all haven't watched the episode please head over there and watch that episode but I'm sipping on Crown Royal Apple sipping on this little baby right here Crown Royal Apple and I'm drinking that with some Sprite, y'all, okay? So that's my tea of choice for the night. Okay, let's see. Now, next we meet Katie. Now, she's a woman who loves white boys. And loves some Jewish boys. Now, I read it, I read it right here. I was like, I'm not featuring her. I'm not feeling her at all. Anyway, child, I can see where this is going to go. Um, She left her husband when she was four months pregnant. She has three kids, all under the age of three years old. Um, her new Jewish boy has a lot in store. Hmm. I don't know if you're ready for it either. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have Robin, another light-skinned woman with green eyes. Um, she was married to an NBA player, but sub subsequently got a divorce three years ago. Now, she still lives with her ex-husband. Sleeps in the same bed with her ex-husband. And they take care of the children together. Now, what I have gathered is none of these women so far that I've met on the episode are housewives. So I'm like, okay, let's see. We got real housewives of Potomac. Um, I haven't met a real housewife yet. Huh. I don't see how this show goes hand in hand with the these women. But we'll keep watching. Have y'all hit the subscribe button yet? Definitely hit the subscribe button. It seems like it's going to be a long night with these women. So hit subscribe and come on, chill with me. Sip some tea. Now, Karen is a different story. She has married rich, honey. Um, her husband, Ray, is a much older man. When I say older, y'all, I mean uh, Peter Thomas of Real Housewives of Atlanta ain't got nothing on this man, okay? Boop, boop. But they've been married for 19 years, so there's definitely something there. She went from Germantown, Maryland to Potomac. Now, she went from being a farmer's daughter to a wife of a highly paid IT guy, okay? Karen heads over to Giselle's for a tea luncheon. This is what they sip they, they sip their tea. Hold on, let me hold it the right way. Because, you know, they sip their tea. Mm. So this is what they're going to do. They're going to spill some tea. To me, they ain't sip no tea. They spilt a lot of tea. Um, this is the type of thing that I don't get though. It's like a pecking order. And Karen is at the top of the pyramid. She lets it be known too, honey. Throwing all types of shade to Miss Giselle. Now I can see who the Nini of Potomac is supposed to be. Whatever Giselle is doing, Karen has already done. So whatever Giselle says she's doing currently, uh, Karen is like, honey, I've been did that boom bop over that. Uh, that was 
done years ago and now I'm here. <laughs> so you need to catch up. Now, I honestly look at the situation as Giselle is a younger version of Karen. She just has to marry well. That's what, the, that's what it seems these women do. All they do is marry well. That's it. The ladies meet up for dinner, but of course, there has to be some late women. That's always when it comes to uh, Real Housewives anywhere um, meeting. Somebody always late. Now, the dinner that they're meeting up for is actually a dinner for Karen because it's her birthday. All right. So, let's see. Sharice is married to Eddie Jordan, who used to be a basketball coach for the Wizards, the Washington Wizards. He is now the basketball coach at Rutgers for the men's college basketball team. Um, he, She lives in New... Well, actually, Eddie lives in New Jersey, where he coaches, and she lives in Potomac with the kids. Now, if you ask me... Eddie has it made. He getting off easy. He goes home to an empty or slightly empty um, home. Now, we don't know who's that, who that home is occupied by because he's way in New Jersey. So, we don't know what he's doing. Neither does Sharice. Huh? And we'll find that out later on in the season because it looks like there's trouble in paradise for um, the Jordans. Okay? And I don't mean Stevie J and Jocelyn Jordans. Okay? <laughs> Um, he goes home to an empty or slightly occupied home, does whatever he wants to while Sharice is tied down, taking care of the kids. What type of shit is that? What, what, what type of life is that? Now, they have been married for 18 years, granted. Um, I think she said, but child, that still doesn't make, I think she said, but that still doesn't matter. Um, or make a difference for a man that don't it doesn't make up for a man's needs like he's over there you're over here how are y'all meeting each other's needs y'all are married come on now this is important um <laughs> now she says her friends asked her if she's worried about him cheating she said girl please your man lives with you and he cheating right in your face okay boom boom, boom. i don't know about that one she's better she's a better woman than i could ever be um, because I couldn't do it. Nope. My man, a whole nother state, uh, working, living, playing, all that. I, I don't think I could do it. Like, that's not what a relationship is about to me. So, especially with a marriage and kids involved, I don't think I could do it. But my thing is, Sharice doesn't cook at all, but has the kids. Hmm. So, I'm guessing she has a chef on, on site or something. I don't know how that works, but she doesn't cook at all. Now, Sharice invites Giselle over to help her cook the crabs for the crab bowl that she's throwing for Karen's birthday. Now, this whole episode was basically about Karen and her birthday child. I don't know how old she turned, but I hope she enjoyed this birthday. Um, my thing is, how y'all from Maryland and can't cook crabs? That's where y'all, that's where the best crabs come from. How y'all from Maryland and can't cook crabs? I, I just, I don't understand that. Anyway, Giselle and her guests that she brought to Sharice's house are going through Sharice's fridge, cabinets, draw, um, drawers in the kitchen. Um, Giselle is yelling all through Sharice's house. Just no self-control at all. Shoot, Sharice talking about she was getting pissed off, but honey, I would have put their ass out my house, okay? Who the fuck does that? Now, I was liking Giselle in the beginning, but she just really, mm -mm, she just really turned me off. Now, honestly, all these hoes, and yes, I said hoes, Yes, I did. They act like they ain't come from the hood. Like, y'all ain't never had no struggle. Like, y'all ain't never been nowhere, done nothing, and had to go through some shit. Like, y'all just came out made. Like, y'all came out with a silver spoon in your mouth, okay? Um, Karen said, who walks around with the help? I'm like, the help? They seem like really good friends, Giselle and um the, uh, the dude who does hair. I forgot his name. They seem like really good friends to me. Now, here they go with the etiquette bullshit. I get so tired of housewives talking about etiquette and this and that. And then when they get into it, ain't now one of y'all got no etiquette, okay? Karen and Giselle start arguing after Karen gives Giselle the five rules to etiquette at a birthday party. Uh, <laughs> child, I was like, really, Karen? Uh, now, hold on now. Say what? That was just a mess within itself. I know one thing. I wouldn't be able to sit with these women at all because I probably would have cursed at least three of them out already by now. 
Okay, a friend of Sharice's goes to her to ask her what's going on. Miss Sharice Jordan is sitting there putting her dirty feet. Yes, y'all see her feet. They was dirty. Her dirty feet that she walked all around outside with. Um, and whoever did her toes, honey, I, I hope you washed your hands after you did her feet because her feet was dirty while you was doing her toes. Because she had done walked around all outside and then came and sat down in the glam chair to get glammed up. Ain't took no bath, no nothing. And then had the nerve to walk barefoot all outside like wasn't nobody going to notice that. Honey, I'm a very clean person and I pride myself on cleanliness. And you miss saying with them dirty feet, putting them, putting them dirty feet in them designer, expensive designer heels at that. Those heels, those heels did not ask for them dirty feet, okay? Mm -mm, no, ma'am. No, they didn't. Karen's still sitting outside arguing with Giselle. And she has had it with her at this point. She walks off letting her know, when you come for me, you won't find me. I'll leave you in my rear view. I said, okay then, Karen. Miss Old Fish reading early. Giselle says, girl, I come from a legacy and I have a pedigree. You came from a farm. Don't question me, okay? All right now, I say all right now, Giselle. Okay, Miss Pedigree. <laughs> now, these women's true color come out when they're mad. It really does. All in all, I'm looking forward to the season and that what's to come with the season. But my thing is, let me just say this. These women of Potomac are really going to have to get it the fuck together. Like... I can't. I don't need Bravo to come out with another motherfucking uh, franchise of the Real Housewives until they get some women that can come together and bring something different to the table. And when I mean different, I don't mean a black version of Beverly Hills. I want to see something different. Show me some women who are bringing different things to the table. Now that is my opinion, y'all, on Real Housewives of Potomac Season 1, Episode 1. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about these ladies and the drama between them. And just the first episode and the vibe y'all get from these women, okay? So far, my favorite was Sharice and Giselle, but by the end of the damn show, I ain't got no damn favorite. How about that one, okay? Um, definitely subscribe, y'all. Like and share. Um, keep rocking with me because this is not the end by far, okay? Mwah. Remember to sip tea and always keep it sweet. Yes! Mwah.